been this grand experiment happening here. You see, in this village, all the residents have severe dementia. Sure. <laughs> right now, sir? Yeah. Uh, with Outsiders aren't allowed here, and everyone who lives within these walls has something in common. It's the last place any of them will ever call home. Creating a sense of normalcy is the number one goal. Oftentimes, that means creating a routine and sticking to it. I got a brief and uh, uh, I'll be in better shape to talk to you about it. Well, if you walk in here, um, this will look like just about any other grocery store to you, but I want to point out a few things that are different. Uh, you do see the same products, uh, juices, you can buy just about anything you want, cleaning products, but you'll notice pretty quickly there's, there's no prices on anything. And as you're about to see, there's no money that has exchanged hands either. What else you need? Oh, nothing. You're all set. Okay. And, um, uh... The customers, as you might guess, uh, a very different type of clientele here. They are residents of this village. They all have severe dementia. Oftentimes, they come here with their caregivers. Ultimately, when they come up to the front desk to buying all their products, they don't exchange any money. And Trudy, who is the staff member, is trained specifically to handle people with dementia. Some compare this manufactured reality to the movie The Truman Show. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Catch you later. Everything he thinks is real is a mirage. People here ever feel, I mean, do you ever, do you ever get the impression that they feel like they're being fooled or duped in any way? Um, why should they feel they are fooled? We have a society here. Our supermarket is not a show. It's a real supermarket. Yeah. Maybe we're fooling them when we say, it's okay what you're doing. It's the, the rules are the rules. And everybody knows that the rules we're going in, whether they should remain that, that should remain the rules, a different issue. They are watched over and comforted by full and part-time caregivers who outnumber the residents two to one. You see, every single worker has been specially trained to take care of people with severe dementia. Deep dive on what's happened, and I'll know better uh, tomorrow. And if it is uh, either with the knowledge of and or a consequence of, are there are there absolute no nos? I mean, things that you should never do uh, when you're dealing with someone with dementia. Uh, yeah, uh, correct them. Say no, don't do this, don't do that. They won't remember it. So why would you? They're not childs or something. There are special modifications here to keep everyone safe. Well, sometimes it's the small things that make a difference in a village like this. Take an elevator, for example. Maybe you don't know what this does exactly, but there's a sensor over there. Turns on that button over here, that calls the elevator. I didn't have to touch anything because perhaps I wouldn't even know what this, what this door was going to do. But now when I walk into the elevator, again, without touching anything from my weight alone, it is sensed that someone is here and is not gonna take me up to the next floor. Study after study shows that stimulating the mind is the best way to slow the brain's decline. Well, because we're not, we're not certain. The initial thinking was it was not the Russian government. You, you say that there are results. Yes. Do you think people are physically healthier living in this environment? Yes, we see that people have, are invited to exercise more because everybody can go outside, walk in the sun. Hello. Social contacts are very important for people with dementia. It helps different parts of the brains to connect and we see that people meet others here. This life helps people to live a healthy life. That helps people to get strong. And, that, that's, and that's been shown now? I mean, in terms of eating, they eat better. Yeah. In terms of getting off of medications, living longer. Do, do yes. you actually see that? Well, we haven't had scientific research on living longer. Uh, we haven't done that yet, but when we started this, 
people came in with the same indication and they would stay an average of two, two and a half years with us. Now it's three, three and a half years. It's not scientific, but I can count. In here people can still be uh, their self, they can be human. They're not just a, a person with dementia, or they're still a person and they can and do whatever they like. Uh, I'll be in better shape to talk to you about it. One of the most difficult residents has barricaded himself inside his home. It's happened before. On a physical level, people here require fewer medications. They eat better, and yes, they live longer. But on a mental level... I'll know better uh, tomorrow, and if it is... Uh, 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 could this work in other parts of the world? That's the next question.